Is your subject soft or blurry due to a high ISO? Well, Lightroom or Topaz Photo AI can fix it, but which one delivers better quality with natural, realistic detail? Well, let's find out. So I have an image here of this hummingbird that I created at an ISO of 8000 and I've already done my basic edit. So let's go ahead and remove the digital noise. And by default, the luminance value here is set at 63, which automatically removes that digital noise. However, in the process, what it's doing is it's smoothing out that digital noise, which begins to degrade the detail and you lose that detail which is why the overall subject begins looking soft or blurry because of the smoothing out of that digital noise. So what we want to do instead of using this legacy denoise option is to reset this back to zero before using denoise AI in Lightroom. And if you prefer Topaz Photo AI, I recommend setting this to zero as well. So let's go ahead and try and remove this digital noise and retain the detail in the process. Unfortunately, we have a little bit of a bug in Lightroom right now. It will not activate the denoise AI if you use masks. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. So for this image, I need to turn off all these masks that I used for this particular edit. And if we hold down Alter Option, we'll get this little tab right here to turn off all the masks. Now, if you want to see how I did this edit from start to end, let me know in the comments and I'll do a video tutorial on how I edited this image with all the different tonal values and the masks. For now, let's go into Denoise AI here and we can see at a setting of 50 that Lightroom does a pretty good job of removing that digital noise. However, just like with the legacy luminance values, the denoise AI in Lightroom is also smoothing out the details in the process of removing that digital noise. And in the end, the final result is an image that doesn't look realistic in terms of the amount of detail that is retained. Now, there are options in there to fine tune more or less on how aggressive that AI will reduce the noise and retain the detail. However, no matter which setting I tried, this was the best that I could get in terms of retaining detail, but it still has that painterly effect, which to me looks unnatural. I'm going to go ahead and turn my masks back on here with alter option and clicking on that tab there. All right, so as you can see, there's a loss of realism where the subtle details are blurred out, giving the image an artificial painted appearance rather than a true to life photo. So we're now gonna jump into Topaz Photo AI and make the same adjustments in terms of noise reduction, but we're also going to sharpen it as well and see if we can get a better result with Topaz Photo AI. All right, so here's the original raw file now with the mask turned on. I'm gonna right click and select Edit in Topaz Photo AI, and I'm going to choose a file format of TIFF versus DNG, which is what's created with Lightroom. And I'm going to select 16 bits instead of eight bits because it's going to give me more colors for a natural, smooth transition of colors from one to another, especially with a background like this that is blurred out. We want as many colors as possible for a smooth transition versus eight bits, which is going to be fewer colors and can create what is known as color banding. So I'm gonna go ahead and click edit. We're now going to open this up into Topaz Photo AI and we'll make our adjustments for noise reduction and our sharpening. Now, based on my preference settings that I've set up in Topaz Photo AI, it's already suggesting denoise all and sharpen the subject only. So the cool thing about Topaz Photo AI is we don't need to remove the digital noise in the entire image. 
if I find that the subject is becoming too soft due to the noise reduction, I can target just the background and not remove the digital noise from the subject. And that's basically what we're doing with the sharpen tool is we're sharpening just the subject. We don't need to sharpen the background because there's not going to be any detail in there anyways, and there isn't any now. So we're just targeting different parts of the image based on what we need for our particular image. I'm going to go ahead and click on all here to remove the digital noise from the entire image. And just like that, we have the noise is completely gone. How awesome is that? I love it. And you can already see that there is not that painterly effect that we had in Lightroom. We have more detail in here. Now, what I want to do is I want to sharpen the subject a little bit. And we have multiple options for sharpening depending on the image and what you need to fix, whether it's an image that is blurry, soft or out of focus, or maybe there's motion blur. You can fix all of those situations in Topaz Photo AI. This is not available in Lightroom. So that's a little bit too aggressive for me. So I'm going to turn down the strength. I do use lens blur about 80% of the time and it gives me the results that I want. So we're going to go ahead and export back to Adobe Lightroom and then compare the two images side by side to see which one gave us the most natural realistic detail versus removing that detail and smoothing it out. All right, we have our Topaz Photo AI or the TIFF file on the left, Lightroom Denoise AI or the DNG file on the right. And you can see that both of them did an excellent job in removing the digital noise in the background. But now you have to decide which edit you prefer in terms of which one looks more realistic, which one retained the detail better. And we can definitely see that Topaz Photo AI has more detail. It looks more realistic, more lifelike. Whereas the Lightroom version, it looks like plastic, doesn't it? It's smoother, it's unnatural, it looks artificial. So for me personally, I prefer the Topaz Photo AI rendition of noise reduction and the ability to use AI technology to sharpen the image as well. But don't take my word for it. You have to decide what you like and you can try this out for yourself with a free trial of Topaz Photo AI and you can find a link to that in the description below. And if you want to learn how to use Topaz Photo AI, I have a complete guide on how to use it and get the most out of it. And you can watch it right here. Thanks for listening and have an awesome day.